Remember, the YouTube ads feed the ducks. <laughs>Good morning, everybody. It's September 5th of the Duck Adventure, and um, it's it's really early. It's about 10 to 6. Uh, it's going to be a while before the sun's up. The ducks, um, they have done no uh, freaking peeking last night, but I'm telling you, this is the noise they've been making all night. They've just been all over the pen, roaming. Uh, they're, uh, they're wound up. It's almost like they know that today is Freedom Day. Now I'm just gonna let them out. Of course. Excuse me. I'm just gonna let them out right now because the, we had a little bit of rain last night and the grass is really wet. So I, we know what ducks are like with wet grass. Um, and I'm gonna uh, have my coffee and then we're gonna come out and we're gonna go down to the lake with them. But I'm gonna let them have the yard first because I know they're gonna want to graze. Plus my lawn needs a cut. So. And it won't take long for, you know, 650 ducks. So I think I lost about 50 of the fox, but we'll, uh, we'll open the door here. <laughs> and get an old-fashioned rush. All right, let's go to the outpost. Come on, ducks! All right, they have forgotten what the morning rush is. I gotta move farther back here. Well, we got a single chicken coming out. They have forgotten what the morning rush is. Side this morning because I didn't want to screw this up because when Doug gets out here and uh, doing this, this, this is the first day and we can see that the ducks are a little bit off their game here so I didn't want to throw in the Doug factor, you know, him out in the yard because they get all screwed up. But they're just munching on my lawn good because it needs a cut. I think there's still a bunch in the barn.
Well, it looks like three confused ones are left inside. All right, I guess because the sun's not up, the ducks are a little bit freaked out. They're, uh, I think they're a little confused. They uh, keep going to the edge of the yard and coming back and they're sticking uh, basically up here. They, they, uh, they get down to the edge of the swamp and they start freaking and peeking, but there's a whole bunch of them. I'm just looking for eggs. I found one egg, I got one egg here uh, that was in the steel shack. I gotta clean the sheds out today. They need new straw, but there's a whole bunch of ducks in the barn, the silly fools here. Let's get the door open. I don't, I don't wanna break my egg here, that's my breakfast. All right, how many are in here? Oh, there's a whole bunch of ducks in here. Come on, ducks. Oh, you silly ducks. Now yeah, I gotta clean this too. They're uh, they're confused. Everybody's. <laughs> oh, I got the door spring here. That everybody's confused. They're gonna. Uh, I don't know. They're silly ducks. Okay, guys, you got freedom today. Yeah, I guess they're not embracing freedom like I thought. Well, uh, we'll give them a little while here. I'm gonna go have a coffee, um, and then we'll come back out and see if we can get them to the lake. Oh, look at this! Oh, they're starting to come out. They're crazy. Oh no, they're not getting out. I gotta clean this building too. So I got a little bit of cleaning to do today after this much lockdown. They've uh, made quite a they've made quite a mess. I don't believe this lockdown. I but I you know like I, I said last night in the video I uh, or yesterday I I I believe I got them. I believe I got the fox. I'm a little bit nervous today, you know, with the ducks out. To be honest, because I don't have the you know the dead carcass of the fox. But the fact that you know he's been just disappeared, and the ducks you know and last night the ducks were like, it was like they were partying like it was 1999, all night. Uh, they were going at it, just having a blast all over the pen on the outside perimeters, which is a big sign that they're not getting harassed. You know, they were all over the, all over. They weren't, uh, you know, hanging around in the center. Oh, look at this! I got the gate open. They're going back inside. <laughs> they're going for a morning snack. All right, I'm gonna have my coffee and then I'm gonna come back out here when the sun's up. We're uh, supposed to have a, a gorgeous day. Um, it's supposed to be like 30 degrees, but there's some chance of uh, some big thunderstorms, so we'll see. Uh, if it rains, the ducks love it, but we actually, if it rains, I know what I'm gonna be doing. I won't be playing. If we get a really big rainstorm and it starts coming down hard, um, I'm gonna end up washing the pan out. And that'll be my fun for today. So hopefully, uh, you know, I, I, I hope it rains because I, you know, I do want to wash the pen out, but I'd really like to go down, down, to, go down to the lake. Uh, I gotta eat a coffee here, I gotta wake up. I need to go down to the lake and play with these guys. But we're back, we're back to freedom again. Just look at them go. They're, uh, they're munching my lawn right down here. They keep looking at the, at the lake. You know, they're looking. They're just not sure. They're a little apprehensive, I think. It's unbelievably warm right now. It's like 22 degrees Celsius at 6 o'clock in the morning. So that's a good sign that it's going to be warm. Oh, look at this. They're all coming over the uh, barn. Alright guys, I gotta grab my coffee. Well, I haven't got in for my coffee yet. I had to fill up the other water for them. The ducks are really skittish. It's almost like this is the first day they've ever been free. Um, everything, every, they're freaking out uh, around the yard where there's nothing to freak out about. Doug and I are standing here. 
uh, we were standing over by the water and we're filling up and the ducks were freaking out about uh, Doug and I just standing there. They're, uh, they're, they're, uh, I think it's like a learning curve here. We're back at ground zero. <laughs> this is where they're staying right now. So I'm definitely going to have to, uh, you know, Doug and I are going to have to hurl them down to the lake. But like I said, I'm going to have my coffee. I brought Doug out because uh, I thought, you know, they, I'm going to leave him outside here with them. Come on inside. He can uh, stay on lookout just in case. I'm still a little bit nervous. The fact that, you know, we haven't got a carcass. We had a carcass, I'd be relaxed, but I'm, uh, I'm still a little bit apprehensive, boys and girls. Well, I think today's going to be a nerve-wracking day for me. Uh, the ducks are driving me nuts here with false alarms. And they, they're completely skittish. I'm, I'm in there, I've got the back door open, so it's just a screen door so I can hear them. And they're all coming up here uh, to around the house. And they just did a complete freak and peek. And you know, and I look out and there's absolutely nothing out here except Doug. And he's on the deck. But there's something, they're, they're really screwed up ducks. This fox, uh, you know, really said, did a job on them. Because now they're completely freaked out of the yard. And like I'm looking out the window, I, you know, with the gun, and I'm, I come out here on the deck, and I'm looking, and I don't see anything, absolutely nothing. It's, um, they're just freaked out ducks. I, I don't know. This is, uh, I just hope it's because it's the first day, you know, they, because I know ducks have a very short memory when it comes to, you know, everything in life, and it's like today would be like, you know, everything brand new to them again, so. But they just won't leave. They're just staying right around the house. Right around the deck here, actually, where Doug is. Um, Yeah, this is, well, we know, like, the, well, Norm, we don't know. I've actually seen the fox close to the house, so uh, they're a little bit foolish thinking that they're, uh, you know, they're safe, they're safe from a fox. Uh, but I guess the fox, you know, tries to stay away from the house as much as possible, so. But I'm, uh, there's nothing. Like, there's nothing on the property here. It's, they're just freaked out. Freaked out ducks, man. Well, I've tried to get the ducks to the lake, and uh, they, they're, um, <laughs> I think they've forgotten what free range of the lake is. They don't even want to go near the swamp. I think, uh, I think they got a, um, they've been traumatized. It's only make any sense. They just are not interested. Uh, I, I got them down there, and it's like, I, they, it's, like they, it's like, it's like there's a wall stopping them, and uh, even Doug uh, was helping me in. It was frustrating, so I'm gonna let them. I'm gonna let them today. Uh, you know, get their their uh, freedom feeling back again in the yard, and maybe a you know a couple days in the yard without getting tormented. Uh, they'll put their guard down. But right now, they're not enjoying life uh, other than in the yard. Uh, you know, which they're having a great time in the yard right now. They're you know they're they've, they're swarming the house over there, and then there's another bunch over here. Um, they're, they're not interested. Uh, I've tried and I can't get them. Just can't. It's just, uh, they're not in, they're just, and, they're, and they've done a lot of freaking too today. A lot of false alarms. Actually, Doug went into the bush and, uh, you know, just to do his thing and they, you know, even Doug in the bush was freaking them out. So, they're not, they're obviously, uh, you know, they've had a rough goal here. A lot rougher than we we're aware of anyways. And it shows now, but uh, hey, well, they're they're free. They're today. They're uh, and they're just eating. They're making a mess of the grass here, uh, just eating the crap out of it. Uh, uh, you know, give my lawn a cut. The little ducks. We'll get them to the lake here. This, uh, you know, this is. The, I got the whole weekend here, and I think probably uh, you know tomorrow or, or Saturday. I mean, uh, Saturday or uh, tomorrow, Saturday, I should say. Uh, I forget what day it is here. Uh, or Sunday, something, something. We'll get something happening here. But I think right now, instead of stressing them out, I'll just let them enjoy themselves, and uh, you know, we'll take it from there. It finally looks like Mo's getting new feathers here. I just give you a shot. Yeah, he is. Look at that, new blood feathers. 
So if he's getting new feathers, that means the other ducks have got to be getting new feathers here. Uh, and maybe we'll get some Muscovy flying action soon. But the ducks are really interested in what's in the bush though. They spend a lot of time looking at the bush. Con like right now, they, just, they, go, they go to the bush and they stop and they look at the bush. Um, I, I think that box was, you know, I, I know that box was causing us a lot of problems here. And like I said, you know, I, I, uh, I, I think I nailed him because he's gone. The ducks just, ducks just don't know it yet. All right, well, I'm gonna, I got, I got a barn to clean out in the back and the shed to clean out here. I'm gonna give him uh, some fresh straw inside there and um, get back working on the feeder and do my duck work. My, my, my duck work. Uh, I just thought I'd give you a shot here. Doug and I are trying to get the ducks to go into the to the lake, and this is it. They're just they will not go into the swamp. Back. Um, they we uh, we've gone back and forth, back and forth here from both sides of the pen, and this is it. They just they they will not go down there. Um, I'm gonna give it a, give it a little more try in here, um, and see if I can force them. If I can just get a group to start, I think I can get them to follow. I'll give you another update how it goes here. This is frustrating. I, the ducks are just freaked out. All right, I've got it started here. They, uh, they're just seriously gun shy of the swamp. Uh, Doug and I, it's a lot of work here. They're not cooperating. We're gonna, uh, I'll, go, I'll just keep working them here. All right, we got them down here. This was unbelievable. They are totally freaked out about down here. But they're going. <laughs> ducks in the water. So, <laughs> oh man, he wasn't that good today. These little ducks. Look at them. They're so confused. They're off to the side here. There's one that's stuck farther up. I can't believe the mud that's churned up in here today. Uh, this is unbelievable actually. I'm trying to think what would cause this. The only thing I could think of would be muskrats uh, were down here uh, and they've torn up all this mud because it's uh, actually the whole creek's full of mud. Now muskrats aren't a, a risk to ducks, but I'm gonna try to go farther out here. I keep every time I come out here, it gets more dangerous for me to walk. Yeah, this is bizarre. This this area here was all open water, and now it's all torn up. Well, they're out in the water. That's weird, you know, the amount of mud in here. It's got to be muskrats. It's the only thing that makes any sense. It's the only thing that makes any sense. But I haven't seen a muskrat in this lake in years. Years. Well, they're out there. Now I got the, I'm gonna go back and get the Muscovies. They're back in the yard right now. Yeah, this is where the uh, this fox trail is and it's starting to get grown up and the, the snare is untouched. It's still there, everything's in position and the trail's actually starting to uh, grow up again. So I think the fox is gone. It's the only thing that makes any sense for him to, uh, you know, for the trail to start growing up and uh, like you can see, it's not as uh, beaten down, fresh beaten down. It's starting to grow. It's only been a week since you know that I shot them, six days. But it doesn't take long for vegetation to start growing up again. Especially down here in the swamp, it basically needs to be uh, walked on every day to stop uh, you know uh, the growth from coming up. All right, let's go up and get those uh, crazy Muscovies that are up at the uh, yard. Come on, Doug.
Okay, this is what it's like herding uh, Muscovies here. They just uh, decide to sit down and that's it. They're not going. <laughs> and then there's Doug. Oh, Dougie. Uh, and Doug's terrible at herding uh, Muscovies because they're so slow. Uh, he just doesn't understand, like compared to the uh, the Ruin and the Pekings who move for him, the Muscovies don't move. Uh, they just, you know, camp out. And this is what these, and the, and the last year's Muscovies are behind me right now. Uh, they're up in the yard and they won't uh, go to the lake. So... I got, uh, oh, the ducks are back down here. We gotta go back down to the swamp here. They're, uh, they come back down the creek. All right, we're back down to the creek again. These guys just won't stay at the lake. All right, here we go. Well, we got a couple of Muscovies that are down here with the flock, but the majority of them, they're, they're up at the, uh, the house, or the yard, I mean. These ducks, they're so terrified. Come on, ducks, back out. Oh, those are those are the birds. Yeah, they. I think they are sandpipers. There's a ton of them here. I think they're eating the uh, the bugs with all the feces. Well, the ducks are back out there. I don't know how many times I got to do this. You know, these ducks I just pushed back out onto the lake. I all I did was went out and locked my gate because I'm going out on the kayak. Um, and when I tell them I go on the lake, I like to lock the gate because I can't tell if anybody's in the yard. And <laughs> these guys came back, so I got to get them back down. And we're going out in the kayak. All right, we got another group coming back. Oh, this is crazy. All right, we're gonna, we're close to the kayak here. Okay, Doug. Oh, and you're splashing me. Look at this crazy dog. I have some. I have a hunch he's gonna dunk me. I know he's just doing a lot of shaking, and I'm getting covered in mud. Oh, Doug! <laughs> oh man, you're nuts. He's wound right out today. He's actually just a useless herder today. He's so whacked out. But I can't believe how torn up the creek is. It's like something was down here tearing it up. Now these ducks just keep coming back here. It's just ridiculous. And of course, as soon as I come out, the sun, the clouds move in because we've got a big thunderstorm coming and the temperature drops. All right, now Doug's gonna get me totally wet now. Oh, there's a whole bunch way down there, too. Oh, looks like there's a bunch on the dock, too. Well, let's see if we can get them to go down with the farther down the lake with the kayak here. You know, it's so crazy. To, uh, it's so much work to get them to come down here.
On ducks. Dog, he's whack not in the swamp. Oh, what a dog. You can tell Doug's a, an immature, stupid young pup. Um, all my older dogs I had, they were smart. They uh, would walk around the outside edge of the swamp. Doug's struggling going through all the crap here. Come on, ducks, let's go for a swim down the lake. Come on out of here. I was supposed to be working, uh, but as you can tell, I'm having uh, like a little bit of fun today. This is awesome. Just look at this for a whack of ducks on the lake. Come on ducks, let's get out of here. Oh, they're trying to double back. On oh, duckies, I got the kayak. We're in high speed pursuit here. Dog, you nut. They want to double back the little buggers. Oh, boys. a lot. <laughs> These guys are really testing me.
If I could just get them to go down the lake here, we can get them to, you know, be a little more adventurous. Maybe they realize that out here is a lot more fun than in the yard. Doug, go back to shore, you silly dog. Ah, I wish I had the big camera. We could hop in the uh, the electric boat. And I think a lot of the uh, the panic the ducks are have is Doug in the water. As much as they know Doug, they they still get a little freaked out by him. The little Muscovies don't care about Doug. I'm wondering if I can get the boat out fast enough here before they double back on me. They keep wanting to double back though, the little buggers. <laughs> Doug keeps, keeps eating weeds. <laughs> Doug, go to shore. Come on guys, this has got to be a lot better than being jammed up in the pen. This is, I don't know how this footage is turning out. And it's pretty awesome doing it though. Oh, they're doubling back. Oh no. Can I get in front of them? This is what a power kayak kayaking with a canoe paddle. Oh, and duckies, you're going the wrong direction. You guys are fast at doubling back. Gross! <laughs> I just filled the kayak full of gross water. All right, now I'm sitting in a big puddle of water here. And Doug's swimming between the flock. All right, power kayaking uh, with a canoe paddle sucks. These guys are hell bent, undetermined on coming home.
Just look at them go. I hope I got the camera pointing in the right direction here. My face, I'm trying to uh, keep my balance and paddle and film for you guys. <laughs> They're hauling though. You guys are going the wrong direction. We're supposed to be going around the lake. Dog swimming with the ducks. <laughs> He's gonna sleep like a baby tonight. Go to shore, Doug. Relax. But I will say though, this year we got them much farther out in the lake than uh, last year. You know, they stayed over there. Would suck to uh, fall in and lose the pivot heads right now uh, after getting this footage. Oh, you guys are gonna race me! All right. I would not want to fall in here. This is just disgusting water. Oh, the ducks. Look at it, doing the Yui. Oh, now they're deking me out. Oh, now they got, I'm trapped. Doug, this way. All right, they're, they're deking me out. They're heading back to the creek. And the amount of minnows in here, it's like, uh, it's a fishing paradise for the ducks. Like it's just non, like it's minnows everywhere. Doug, go back to shore, you silly dog.
Go to shore, Doug. Go on. Go on to shore. Go on, Doug. Uh, I think the uh, the ducks, no matter what I do, they're just going to keep testing me. I know there's a big uh, a group of them went down to the far end of the lake. But they do not want to... Uh, it's got to, They do not want to be here. It looks like muskrats. It's got to be muskrats that are tearing up the lake. There's a lot of uh, torn up vegetation. Let's go, Doug. Let's go. Come on. Come on, Doug. Come on. <laughs> Doug, crazy dog. Okay, look who's following me back. Unbelievable. The whole flock's coming back. I think what I'm going to do though is I'm going to bring the canoe down here uh, because this thing sucks uh, for doing camera work. At least with the canoe I can bring the, the big camera with me. So I'm going to, uh, later this afternoon, I'm going to bring the big canoe down here. And that way we can go back out and I'm not getting soaked because I got absolutely soaked. And today is the last nice day. The weather is going to turn nasty starting tomorrow, so. This is crazy. You ducks, man. It's absolutely gorgeous and it's... I don't know if we call these Klingon ducks. They just gotta stick to me. Now they're headed back out. Silly ducks. All right, well, I gotta go get changed because I do have work to do today, which I have to get done as much as I want to play. But that was pretty cool footage. You know, and all those ducks out there and uh, it's only going to get better. The more and more I do this with them, pretty soon they'll be all out in the lake and uh, they, you know, there won't be any uh, here. It's just going to take time. Who knows, maybe this afternoon I'll get out again, but I'm going to try to. Look at this flock coming back. These birds are crazy. Unless I'm down there with them. Poor little babies, they're so afraid.
poor little ducks. They're afraid of the world out there. Unbelievable. <sighs> this is frustrating. Unbelievable. Well, I'm still going to go down with the canoe. I'm going to go get the canoe and uh, well, I'm going to take the aluminum boat down the other end and we'll see if we can see uh, any ducks uh, down at the other end of the lake, if there are any, and then I'll bring the canoe back to this end. Well, Doug and I are back down here and there's still a fairly good group down here and it looks like there's a group down there. So we're going to take the boat down there and we'll see if uh, how far they actually went down the lake. But not all of them are back, just some of the chickens that are up in the... Uh, it's strange how, you know, half the flock's down here and half isn't. It's just bizarre. Alright, I'm gonna get the boat out here. Well, there's still a fair amount of ducks out here. I'll, uh, I'll give you a shot. There's still, uh, you know, a good whack of the flock is out here. You know, the, the ones that came back to the yard, uh, I don't know what's with them. You know, and then there's this is where uh, they the ones that uh, the juveniles that stayed out all night. It's really windy, so I'm getting blown all over the place here. But this is where uh, they stayed right there. So I'm gonna uh, go for a cruise down the lake here because I did see a bunch go um, around the point down there. So I want to see how far they've gone down. Well, I just found a dead floating duck. And by the smell of him, he's been down here for a while, and plus with the rotting uh, flesh, you can see the uh, skin peeling off here. Um, he's been dead, uh, oh, a little while here, but I'm going to try to flip him over here. There's fresh, uh, um, um, oh, I'm losing my, uh, clumps of feathers here, which makes no sense because he's been dead for a little while. I'm going to get out of the paddle here, I really don't want to handle him. Doug, stay. Okay, his head's gone. Whoa, he stinks. I'm surprised the turtles haven't gotten him. Yeah, his head's been ripped off, so that might have been a, a, a raptor of some sort. Yeah, something something hopped on his back end and uh, has torn his head off. But he's been dead a while. Man, he reeks. Yeah, he's been dead. Uh, he must have got killed by a raptor. Now that would have been awesome footage to get. But the strange part is that clump of feathers over there. Get back, Doug. Doug, sit. Yeah, I'm really surprised that uh, a turtle hasn't gotten him. Soon, turtle will clean him up. All right, well, let's head down the lake here and uh, see. You know, there's another duck gone. This year has been brutal on duck deaths. Well, the ducks that must have went down here, uh, they must have uh, turned back. There, uh, there's no ducks down here. Well, I've got a you know a good amount of ducks down here. I don't want to take the canoe over there right now because if I go to take the canoe up the creek, I know what'll happen. The ducks will uh, go back home that are down here, so I'm just going to uh, leave them for now. I'm going to go do my work, and I'll come down later with the uh, to get the canoe and take it up to the uh, the landing there so that I have it, so I can uh, you know come down the, the creek with the ducks because, like I said, starting tomorrow we got dirty weather again. It's going to, the temperature's dropping right off. It's, you know, well, it's going to be tomorrow, I got high of 19, so today's supposed to be a high of minus 31 or something, so big, big difference. And that kayak, I got real wet today, and I really don't want to be wet when it's 19 degrees. So, so I'll wait until uh, later to come and get the canoe, and then take it up the creek. 
At least we have some ducks that are down here. So it's, uh, but you know, another dead one. Oh, I've had a duck. Now, I'm telling you this year, you know, last year, you know, I lost five ducks, five ducks to mother nature. That's, that we couldn't account for at the end of the year. There was five single ducks out of 171 ducks. You know, it was five. So, you know, based on that this year, you know, I, I should lose 15. Well, the, I bet you the fox took, four, you know, 40. I bet you the foxes took 40 ducks this year. Mother Nature's just kicking the crap out of the duck adventure this year. And I'm, you know, I'm aggressively hunting uh, Mother Nature and it ain't working. But that raptor, I would have, you know, I would have loved to catch that on video. That would have been, I would have loved, I, I, I would have no problem giving up a duck to catch, you know, a raptor coming in and, and, you know, taking a duck on the water. That would be, you know, that would be a viral video. All right, guys, I'm going to go and do my work and uh, then we'll come back down later today and I'll get the canoe and we'll drag it up, uh, take it up to the uh, the landing. Oh, relax, Doug. Oh, Doug's wound right out, man. He gets down here. Um, he, he's crazy. He's crazy in the swamp. You can't control him. The puppy just takes over. You got to watch yourself when you're walking. He, uh, he's got a one-track mind, high speed. Well, this is the group that's uh, back in the yard. There's a group that's down at the landing. It's like the flock, you know. It's like we've got three different groups. So I think time, you know. Um, and I'm looking at these guys, and some have lake bands, some do. So they're not even... You know, it's not even the same age group, it's a mixture. And then there you can see the group down there, I don't know if you can see it or not. The group that's down at the, uh, the swamp right now. You know, there's, uh, there's another group, so I don't know. I think it's just going to take time. Time and patience. Alright, I gotta, I gotta make this quick. Uh, I'm doing the, everything I've done today is in between cloudbursts. It's been raining off and on all day. I've got the new uh, mega feeder uh, finished. Um, this is it. It. Uh, I'm just about to start piling the feed into it. So there's the tray on the bottom, and I have no idea if it's going to work or not. I'm. Uh, this is a totally uh, improv deal. Uh, MacGyver special. I, so th this is it. I figure it's going to hold about seven bags of feed, roughly, uh, you know, 560, 560, 600 pounds. So it can be moved when it's empty, not when it's full. So this is the spot I'm going to put it for now. And I'm going to uh, fill it up. And, uh, it's just basically, this is how it happens. You just take the uh, bunch of cord off and pull the tarp back and dump the feed in. So on the tarp, a uh, bunch of cords from both sides. Just hook it here. It's a uh, nylon wraps, tie wraps on the other side so it stays on. And then uh, I just take the bags and dump it in. So we'll see if it works. I'm gonna go get the feed and fill it up. Well, the feeder's duck approved. We're going right at it here. Um, it, so far, I only had seven bags of feed here because I have to go do another feed run, but that's what seven bags uh, does. So, seven 80 pound bags. And my flow uh, rate actually was perfect. It, uh, it feeds out just right. Uh, but it was, I, I have to put it on a level ground. Um, and I got some patio stones for underneath it. Um, and I'm going to put it on a level ground. Here. So right now it's on an angle because of the uh, water I've got for the tarp. But I have an idea for the roof uh, to make it so that it's sort of like a peak tarp on it. But it'll do for the weekend. It's uh, you know it's done. I got to go. Uh, my buddy's got a whole bunch of old patio stones uh, that he just dug up out of his lawn. He didn't even know there was a patio under his lawn. So I'm scoring a bunch of patio stones. And I'm going to make it a, a level spot here uh, and uh, set it on the level spot and then I'm going to come up with a, um, a peak. I'm going to just put a block of wood on top of it for a peak so that I can have uh, the tar level. I had to put it on an angle today because I don't have, uh, you know, I, did, I, I wanted the rain to run off this weekend. So, but that's seven bags of feed. And I could, uh, if it was on level ground, you could put nine bags in it. It'd be heaping, but it would hold nine bags. I think eight would be uh, the limit. Well, no, nine, you can squeeze nine in there. It should hold. 
So, the duck's underneath. Not crazy, Miss Scobies. So that's it. That's the uh, the finished uh, feeder for the horde. And it seems to uh, be working the flow on it. So the feed's coming out just right, actually. Not, it's not, uh, you know, I was worried that it was going to flow too much forward and spill out the front, but the lip uh, worked out perfect. So that's it. But I'm going to eventually, I'm, uh, this this coming week, I'm going to put it here underneath the tree and level it out <laughs> with some patio stones. So that's it. Anyways, I'm way behind. I didn't even get the barn cleaned out today. So. Working in the rain today was a pain, uh, going in and out, in and out of the rain, and so. But no, uh, Mr. Fox, nothing. Ducks are calm. They're just basically having fun in the yard, so. Well, you know, they didn't last long down at the lake, so. Oh, birds. I thought I saw something moving in the grass, so. My eyes are playing tricks on me. I'm tired. Anyways, so that's the, uh, the new feeder. A big crew of ducks just came back from the lake. I guess uh, that was the bunch that was staying down there. They, uh, <laughs> I looked up and there was this big bunch coming up from the, from the swamp and I was like, okay, I thought all the ducks were here. But they weren't. So I don't know if there's any more down there. I can't see any more white down there, so. Well, at least some of them uh, decided to stay down there. They're all lining up here, uh, being so polite to go back in, but they're taking their time tonight to go back inside. I think they're afraid they might not get back out again. Plus we've got like seven eights of the moon, so it'll be a loud night. The ducks will be going crazy. Full moon like this, like I'll show you the moon. We've got... It's a little bit of haze, but that will light her up tonight. The guts will be going crazy all night. But they're taking their time going in. They're confused on the feeder, but they keep looking for the feeders over here. They'll figure it out by the end of the night. I'm gonna go get my supper ready. I'm uh, just actually jerking some uh, uh, duck, a Muscovy duck for tomorrow night. So just marinating in some jerk and Jamaican jerk and gonna uh, be throwing that in the oven tomorrow night. Oh, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, jerk duck is so tasty. I just wanna give you an aerial view of the ducks going in here. It's so funny, they're so polite. They're slowly working their way into the pen. And they do it very slow. It's a gradual process. Uh, I'll zoom in here so you can get a good view of how slow they go through the gate. Is this like mosey so slow? What a contrast uh, compared to the morning rush when they get out of the pen. Just look at them. But everybody's lining up. You know, we're all getting ready. It's about uh, 10 after 8. They're wondering where their feeders are. They're looking all over the place. It's so funny. They'll figure it out. 
The only thing they can starve, there's you know, 600 pounds of feed in there now. We're in a traffic jam. It's like an entrance to a nightclub, you know, everybody's hurry up and wait.